the Pixel King here, and I'm doing a tutorial of how to work Lunar Magic. This is a program used to make Mario used to make Mario hack Mario ROM hacks. And so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is op open Lunar Magic and then open your Mar Super Mario World ROM. You should come to a screen that shows level 105 or Yoshi's Island 1. <laughs> oh, sorry, I have hiccups. Now there's a row of icons on the toolbar at the top, but we're not going to use but one right now. That is going to be the ca castle, which is also the overworld editor. It looks like a castle. In the overworld, it includes the main overworld and the six sub-maps. That is what, but we're only going to be using the Yoshi's Island submap, so scroll down until you find it. You should or have already seen it. Um, this. So, in the, now, this submap we're going to be using. Now, let's start by taking out the land. Since you should already be in the correct editor, which is layer 2 8x8 editor mode, select the whole Yoshi's Island submap. It's easy. You left click on the top left corner and drag to the bottom right. And then you click your delete button on the keyboard. If you don't have a delete button, you there's also a delete option. I don't know why you wouldn't have a delete button. Okay. Now y you see that there's a lot of other stuff like clouds and yeah, and cap and stuff we want to get rid of these by clicking on layer 1 16 by 16 editor mode it looks like the ghost house <laughs> um after you delete these the same way you did with the land notice mario and the smoke are still there this is because these are sprites we're not going to delete them so click on the sprite editor mode to move them away it looks like a lakitu now we're going to start editing the land, like making it landish. Well, okay. This was going to change what it looks like. Click on the layer 2 8x8 editor mode again, which is the hill with eyes, which is kind of creepy, I know, but get used to it because it's in all most Mario games. Now click on the 3 fourth shaded iceberg on the top, which is the open... Yeah, just what I did in the video. Sorry, I forgot what the name was. Here you can take pieces from the overworld. Uh, you can take pieces and flip them by their X and Y. And you can change what they look like. You can also change the palettes. But if you can't find some, some of the blocks in there, you can also check, um, you can also check the overworld for things. For our world one, which is in place of Yoshi's Island, we're going to make a generic, uh, like, place with a cove. Now, we're going to make a little pattern with the cliff blocks, but that's up to you. Um, now I can't tell you what each of the blocks are, because it's going a little complex, but I can tell you that, as I've said before, if you can't find the correct block you need um and there's one that looks like like it in the overworld you can always click on that block in the overworld and check where it shape where it has clicked in the um block editor which it does show um what block it is in the editor so uh, i guess you just got to have some practice with that so right now we're making a little cove thingy. If you cannot find it, yeah. We're making a cove thingy and you can um skip to five fifteen right now because nothing important happens. Um this just takes a while to make the cove. I mean, it usually doesn't have to make take this long, it's just that I was failing a while. So if you skip that, it's totally up to you. <sighs> now, 
Now we're making the um, left side. You have to flip X because it for on the e block editor it only shows it being the right side. So you're going to have to flip X and once again I'm making little patterns. You don't have to do that. It's just uh, it doesn't make it so boring. Oh and the patterns I'm doing with the with the blocks are like the normal side, the normal cliff and then the cliff with the little cutout in it. Um sometimes you will have to use a different palette for certain things, such as the bottom of cliff going into water, like I'm going to have to do now. Um see what happens is um you can use different palettes on the same sub map <coughs> sorry um it's it doesn't affect it but sometimes the sub map will um okay if you take a block from the overworld though and put it into say the forest of illusion sub map it will be in the palette of the forest of illusion so, um I don't know if it happens all the time. I just know that it happens sometimes. And sometimes it works. Like, I can do it in the Yoshi's Island submap. So, I'm guessing that it works. Um, I don't know everything there is to know about the program, but I do know quite a bit. Now, yes, I'm making a... Uh, I don't want it to be boring and square, so I'm making a little thingy that's like yeah you get it you can see can't you you have eyes otherwise you wouldn't be watching a video um sorry that was kind of mean anyway um now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making the um cliff part as you can see um, I'm making the part where it actually, like, the side of the cliff. It's not that difficult. If you want to go faster, you could just, um, yeah, I had to move this up a bit because I messed up. Um, it's not that difficult to make this part. And it's basically self-explanatory. The same thing you have to do here with the blocks if you can't find them. Take them from the overworld and then you'll pro hopefully you'll know where they are in the um, the block selector. Once again, taking forever here. Uh, if you don't want to watch this all, feel free to skip. Cause feel free to skip ahead, yeah. Hopefully next time I'll go faster, but this is the basic idea of overworld editing. This is just to make, like, different things. See? And now, we have just made the side. We just made the cliff going into the water, but you have to take note that it's not the same color as the water in Yoshi's Island is not the same color as the water. The default water in Yoshi's Island is not the same color as the default water in the overworld. So what does this mean? Well, you just have to figure that out yourself. No, I'm kidding. Um, it means that the, um, that's basically the thing that changes, it's basically the thing that changes with the palette. Um, no two submaps and or overworld have the same base water color except for the vanilla dome and Bowser Valley. So, as you can see, the water is a different color in this submap and so it won't work by copying and pasting it. See you next time for my part 2.